all you need is one. The first company that is ready and, and is approved, essentially they're off to the races. And because of network effects, they're going to eat everything. It's not going to be number four. Hey everyone, Alex Ionescu here. Welcome to Investor's Guide to the Galaxy. The disruption of transportation by Tony Saba, video cut. Tesla will eat everything in the world. Let's dive right into it. Tesla stock price on 31st of October down 0.43%. In pre-market today is up 2.44%. I will give you a quick rundown of key points in this video cut or you can watch it all. It's up to you. The disruption of transportation will happen in two phases. Phase 1 is cost of electric vehicles coming down. Phase 2 will be when level 4 autonomous technology will be approved by regulators. In 2014, Tony Saba predicted that the cost of electric vehicles will drop from $80,000 in 2014, a Tesla Model S, to below $10,000 in 2027, maybe even faster. A fleet car, whether it's a Hertz or Amazon or Uber, over five years they can drive 500,000 miles, which means that over five years they would need one electric vehicle or three internal combustion engine cars. Insane, right? There are dozens of companies pursuing autonomous technology. All we need is one. This is an operating system. If you look at the history of computing, essentially you're gonna get two operating systems. So think about Windows and Mac. Think about iOS and Android you get two operating systems because of network effects. Now you can add a third one, open source like Linux, right? But no more, no more than three. All you need is one. The first company that is ready and is approved, essentially they're off to the races. And because of network effects, they're gonna eat everything. There will be no number four operating system. Now let's hear Tony Saba, the great transformation, the disruption of transportation. Let's talk about transportation. How is this disruption unfolding as we speak? So back to clean disruption, my book in 2014, this is the exact same cost curve that I published for 200 plus um, mile electric vehicles. And what I said was that um, over the next few years, the cost of a 200 mile, 200 plus mile electric vehicle is going to drop along this line. Not every EV, of course, there are going to be um, EVs in many categories, right? Luxury and so on. But um, the low end is going to go um, at that uh, cost curve. I was told you are smoking something, right? And can I have some? But in fact, it's happening more or less exactly as I predicted. In fact, it may be happening even faster. The cost curve in clean disruption predicted was that the market would offer a 200 plus mile electric vehicle um, by 2025 for about 10 thousand dollars think about it when i made that prediction evs such as the tesla model s were 80 100 120 thousand dollars the idea that there would be an electric vehicle that was ten thousand dollars ever right a tenth of the cost of uh, tesla model s at the time was just considered insane and guess what? Geely announced it. Geely announced uh, a new SUV, um, 200 mile, precisely as I predicted, for less than $10,000. It's a four meter long SUV. I mean, this is a middle class SUV. The mainstream thought that this would happen in the 2040s, not 2020s, right? 2040s. The mainstream was wrong by about 20 to 30 years. Cross curves are like gravity, right? I don't care what your opinion of gravity is. That is settled science for more than 400 years, 
right? So the cost curves are going to keep happening. The only question is how fast, not if. So now we're seeing 10% um, new vehicle sales um, are EVs in the major markets in China, um, in the US, and in many places in Europe, 10%. And it's looking like an S-curve, right? So every single mainstream analyst was wrong. So that's three to seven times um, longer lasting than the internal combustion engine vehicle. Fleets can drive 100,000 miles per year. So over five years, a fleet car, whether it's a Hertz or Amazon or Uber, um, over five years, they can drive 500,000 miles, which means that over five years, they would need one electric vehicle or three internal combustion engine cars. So fleets now have to go electric for purely economic reasons, right? Because it's already a third of the cost per mile um, of uh, internal combustion engine transportation. And that's even not even considering the cost of energy and the cost of maintenance and so on. I, I just talked about phase one of the uh, disruption of transportation. Phase two is coming. And phase two is when level four autonomous technology is approved by the regulator, is ready and approved by the regulators, right? So we're starting to see um, many companies that have level four out there um, by do is doing 10, 000, uh, 300,000 rides per quarter. That's what they recently announced. Um, and there are dozens of companies pursuing autonomous technology. All we need is one. This is an operating system, right? And if we look at the history of computing, um, essentially, you're going to get two operating systems. So think about it, Windows and Mac. Um, Think about iOS and Android. You get two operating systems because of network effects. Now, you can add a third that is open source, like Linux, right? But no more than that. All you need is one. The first company that is ready and, and is approved, essentially, they're off to the races. And because of network effects, they're going to eat everything. It's not going to be number four. According to Tesla, Tesla's with autopilot are already almost nine times safer than the average American driver. If everyone drove a car with autopilot, we would save 900,000 lives globally every year. And this technology is improving exponentially. By 2022, the autopilot would be 10 times safer than the average American driver. We still have three months to get there. Um, but it's just about there, right? And supercomputing power, which is what you need for autonomous technology, is improving super exponentially. So just to give you an idea, in the year 2000, the world's most powerful supercomputer, one teraflops, about $50 million, and it was the size of this uh, theater. One teraflop, $50 million, the size of this theater. By 2016, uh, an eight teraflops GPU cost $600. And you could hold it in your hands, right? That's a 650,000 time improvement in just 16 years. That's how quickly supercomputing is improving in cost and capability. And in fact, if you buy an iPhone, a new iPhone or iPad, it includes uh, a GPU, a 15 tera operations per second GPU. 15 for free. I'd like to know your opinion on all of this. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please smash that like button so that other people like you see this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. See you next time.